Hello everyone, uh, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Aljala, a recent graduate from NID Varangal. This video is all about uh, the important uh, dates or important updates related to JOSA and CSAP 2023 in order to get seats in IITs, NIDs, triple IDs through JE mains or JE advanced rank. So please make sure you share this video to all your friends who are participating in JOSA counseling and CSAB counseling. It's very important. If you, if anyone misses this particular video, so they will miss important updates from so 2023 and CSAB 2023 so let's go so first thing is whoever got seat in IITs check the IITs website guys so I have already shared the PDF of IIT PDF like where uh, they have given the uh, reporting details and uh, the link where you have to check the reporting information so if you still want that PDF I'll be linking that video PDF in the description check out that PDF according to your IIT you can check your joining dates uh, like reporting dates and the reporting information everything fees documents required and date everything okay Chalo. Now coming to what is category restoration, see, see guys, so for example a ex student have uh, kept OBC NCL during JE mains application and JE advance application but due to some unforeseen situations he was not able to submit the after April 1st 2023 OBC NCL certificate during JOSA counseling. So once we get the seat allotment we need to submit category certificate right. So he, he was not able to submit. So for that student they gave a chance for him uh, uh, to convert OBC NCL to general category during JOSA counseling through declaration form so in place of category certificate those people have submitted a declaration form saying that so whatever if I got seat in OBC NCL category cancel that seat from next round consider me into general category so this is what the declaration which they submitted now to all those people who submitted the declaration if they have their category certificate with them now so now they can come back to OBC NCL once again so like this same for EWS SC ST okay so I hope you got clarity on this Category restoration is not CSAB registration. CSAB registration is starting from August 3rd. Okay. I hope you are clear with this. So next thing is partial admission fee. Who all should pay partial admission fee? Whoever got seat in NIT plus system, NIT, triple IT, GFTA should pay partial admission fee, but it's not mandatory. But if you know, if you don't pay, your seat will be cancelled. So that's why I'm not saying mandatory. If you want, if you are someone like I don't want the dosa seed, uh, I just don't want to even participate in CSAB in that case what they will you know, do you know whatever seat acceptance fee you paid in that they will direct 7k and re refund you the remaining amount okay so now if at all you participate in CSAB if you get some seat so you have to pay the second installment so the first installment as CF, I mean seat acceptance fee in JOSA and the second installment which you pay after getting seat allotment in CSAB so both of this amount will be going to the college so after paying partial admission fee Either you can go and directly report at the NIT Play System College or you can participate in CSAB and if at all any other seat comes, whatever amount you are paying here as a seat acceptance fee and partial admission fee, whole amount will be transferred to the college which you join after six, uh, like after second round of CSAB if you participate in CSAB. If you don't participate in CSAB, directly the money will be coming to the college. Okay. If at all any new seat gets allotted in CSAB, automatically this JOSA seat will be cancelled. Okay. If at all no seat is allotted, your seat will be remained on your name that JOSA seat because you paid partial admission fee and seat acceptance fee okay so don't worry guys so this is about uh, partial admission fee and uh, uh, category restoration and reporting at IITs so reporting at NITs will start later on CSAB after CSAB in majority NITs and triple IDs GFTS so once go and check your official website of uh, that, that particular NID or triple IT or GFTI so you will get a clarity on when you have to report and everything so yeah so that's more about uh, so updates related to JOSA and CSAB 2023 counseling so on second uh, what uh, on August 2nd you will get uh, the vacant seats list so after that on August 3rd the actual registration for CSAB starts okay so everyone who participated in JOSA can participate into CSAB but if you have got IAT so in that case you have to continue that process separately this process separately but if you got NIT play system it's a single process so if you get new seat automatically JOSA seat will cancel if at all you paid partial admission fee if you don't pay partial admission fee your seat will be cancelled okay and yeah so that's more about uh, this particular video chalo see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind and if you still didn't subscribe to the channel please do subscribe and support me we'll be posting the videos regularly chalo bye bye